Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Bean. Welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get essentially 600 anvils per hour with this guide or strat, I guess. But here we go. So if you don't know how to go to the brand new anvil farming stage, you go to battle, click on special, and then it should be under special again. And it's this one right here called the Broken Clock Tower. And the main important things to know about this is that you can only access this with this uh, key down here, which is the time limit dungeon key. And they are, I guess, not rare, but one of the rarer things to acquire. And just because it takes time to get them, you can't farm them or buy them. So I think you might be able to buy them, so don't quote me on that. But if you're free to play, essentially you get one for free with the maintenance that we just got and then after that you get one for free every week and you can stack up to 10 of them so that's 10 hours because each one gives you one hour grants you one hour of access to this event and as soon as you click start the countdown starts so it's not like the time of in-game it's real time so if you leave it on and go do something and not doing it then you lose your time but so here i go so I'm going to start this real quick. I'll show you guys how to do each stage because there are multiple stages. See that? The countdown's going. First stage. For the first couple stages, this is the team I'll be using. Uh, Blue Easton, Lost Vein, Green Gother, and Death Pierce in the sub. And Green Gother is kind of necessary for this, but you can switch him out for another DPS unit, AoE. It just won't be as efficient or as good. So I would say you could either try the Red Gother or Hauser or Shin. Shin is alright as well. But yeah. So let's just get right into this. I'll be showing you all the stages and the best team in my opinion to farm the last stage which is the hardest. So here I guess I'll just leave it on auto. It doesn't really matter for the first uh, couple stages since they are basically squishy. So they are one shot no matter what. And everyone on this team, by the way, has an attack set. So make sure everyone has an attack set, including association, so you get the most attack. And on this stage, you actually would want to run attack food, which I probably will do for the last uh, like half of the stages, because you just want to get this done as quick as possible. And there, if I would have attack food, I would have finished. But it is what it is. I will be doing this with. I'll use attack food from the, oh, from the stages from here on out. But yeah, so essentially this team is AOE damage. So go through with his pumpkin bombs, lost vein with his uh, AOE cleave, and then he stick with her AOE as well. And go through his passive talking in the back. As you can see that the first stage only gives you 10 anvils with the first clear and you get around 2 anvils, so not the most, not the best, but let's see, see look, as soon as you clear the stage you get a new one and then you get a new clear reward for each one and the reward increases as you go up. So right now it'll be 20 and then so on. So stop wasting time, I will put attack food on so you can see the difference, so make sure if you want the maximum anvils I guess you use this team if you can if not you switch out Gother for either another AoE unit so like uh, Hauser Shin if you have him or if not you could use Red Gother uh, but yeah essentially it's the main team everyone in the attack set except for Death Pierce he doesn't matter I have him on HP defense for CC and attack set on all the associations as well and using attack food but yeah let's go right into this second stage see how long it takes us so, this is a, way harder than the gold uh, farming stage because I think the last stage requires up to like, it's over 200,000 CC I think, so that's pretty big. But as you see there, with attack food, I was able to one shot. And here we have the boss for this, which I don't know if I'll be able to one shot him, but we'll see. No, probably not, depending on the cards that I just used, but as long as we get like one or two down, is this going to kill the other one? No. 
but they will be ten dead next turn. Patience. So, yeah, this is what you want to do. And this is only, you might not get the most anvils in the first run because you will be have to, you will be required to clear the previous stages. But I don't know if you, as soon as you finish farming this, like as soon as you beat it once, you have to, like when you clear it again, if the stage is already unlocked, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. I'm pretty sure once you beat the stage, you keep it unlocked. As I hope that it is, because that would make sense. But either way, you just do this. First couple runs, you use this team, Easton, again, Lost Ring, Green Goat there, and then if not, you just switch out Green Goat there for the either... Uh, let's see. I would say either Shin or... Hauser. Hauser is a good unit. A good one. So here, let's see. Pumpkin bombs, AoE. This should get him down. Oh yeah. Do I get ult here actually? I don't think so. No. Here we have the boss. He's probably gonna do a natural merger, yep. Which sucks, but whatever. But you will get the most amount of anvils and get the 600 per hour because there's only a time of one hour, so that's how you get that. And by farming the absolute crap out of the final boss stage which gives you the most amount of anvils per run unfortunately i don't believe he'll die here yeah i'm lucky do get lost way note though so here he will go down with this I guess I'll take it off auto to speed it up a bit. But you can leave it on auto if you want. If you have like something else to do, just leave it in the background. As you see, there are 30 anvils. Very nice. Alright. Next, this stage is up. The fourth floor. Uh, I'll take over control, just make this go by quicker. I will apply this buff, AoE, and then Easton. That might be able to get them down actually. Type advantage. Yep. Yeah. So they're down. Right, we're approaching that 200,000 CC mark, so not too far off. And here, I guess what I'll do is I'll rush Lost Vein ult. So I can just one shot him next turn. Of course, the AI would have done nowhere near this amount of a type of plays. But you do have to be actively playing and engaging the game if you want to speed it up. But as I said, you can just leave it on auto and it's just fine as well. Just take a bit longer. So apply the buff, ult, and that should finish them off. Yep. Alright, 7, 14 anvils, plus the 40 for the first time clear. Very nice. At the start of this, I'll show you... I didn't show you, but I had around 100 anvils. Yeah, 100 anvils, and let's see how many I have by the end of this. So I believe this is the last stage, if I am not mistaken. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, this is the last stage. As you can see, 200,000 CC. So this is when you want to switch teams, if you have it. And this is the team. Green King... Oh. Give me a sec, actually. He's not... 
He's not super awakened, so I'll just do that real quick. Skip this. Oh yeah, and if you can super awaken him, do so. Because he gets increase in damage. And that is what you want. Attack and crit damage. Which is always nice. But here, I... Who do I not care for? I guess... That king... They already maxed. Do this. And then... Uh, Death Pierce. Red. Doesn't matter. They're all maxed. So, Green King... Lost Lane in the middle, Green Gother and Death Pierce in the sub. Again, the front three units with attack and defense, and the sub as well, attack and defense to get the most amount of attack possible. As you can see here, almost 17.5 on my Lost Lane, 16,000 on King, and 15,000 on Gother. And using attack food, stamina is low. I will be leaving this on auto just so you guys can see how this would work if you were to do it yourself. And, yep, auto, and let's see how it goes. And this is the stage that you want to be farming. This is the stage that I will be farming for the remaining time that I've left after I finish this video. So, because I want to get the most amount of anvils possible. But I will show you how many anvils I have with just these stages alone. And, oh... They attack sealed me, which is not good. I probably should have controlled it, but whatever. Don't attack seal me again. Okay, I'll have to take care of this. I forgot you're supposed to be doing this by yourself. He's down. Taxi would might go there. AoE cleave and then ult. Well, not ult, I'll get ult after this. So here, if you were controlling it, great. If not, then you probably should have some cards saved up. So what the best strat to do is if you have ults, use them. So go there. No, last ring, go there. And then I'll use this level three with King. As you can see, they're very tanky. They took a last ring ult to the face and did not even die. And this might not even kill the boss. So it will do big damage, huge damage. 340,000. And the ult should finish it off. The only annoying part is, as you probably could tell, is the attack seal. But that does not matter because King will absolutely wipe here. Or I hope so. Yeah, there we go. 950,000 crits. And you get around 18 anvils per time you clear this. And your additional 50%, not 50%, an additional 50 anvils. For the first time clear. So you got 40, no, you got 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. So there's those for the first time clear bonuses. So that adds up as well. But yeah, besides that, that's it. That's how you would you would use to, to uh, recap this all. For the first four stages, you would ideally use this team, the Eastern team. And then for the last stage, you would, if you want to leave it on auto, you put this team on. And you just leave it on auto and farm anvils. But if you want to be more efficient, you would technically just have to fight yourself and it'll be even quicker. But if you just want to leave it on the background, which is probably what I'm going to do, I will just, this team works just fine on auto. And make sure for both versions of the team, again, you want attack and defense on each one while running attack food and attack and defense on the associations as well. But that is how you get anvils. And as you can see here, I think I said I had around, yeah, I had around 100 when I started. And right now I have 602, so 500 
anvils. And so 500 anvils from that. So most of those are from the first time clear bonus. So that's probably over a bit over 100 anvils. But besides that, as you can see here, you can easily get up to like 600 if you're able to farm the last stage. If not, you'll just have to farm the lower stages first. Oh, and by the way, these keys, if you can't do it right now, you can save them. So, you, if you're not ready, don't have the proper gear or units yet, just do it when you can. And you can stack up to 10 of them, so there's no rush. So, you can essentially have 10 hours of anvil farming saved up if you want, or if you can't do it right now. So, there's that. And they don't expire, so you should be good. There's no rush to get anvils. They are very nice to have, but they're not essential. Well, almost, but not really. So, but anyways, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.